This is Mr. Century City, and you can find me at MrCenturyCity.com. And today you are watching Century City Headliners, where I showcase amazing people doing awesome things. Today we have special guests in the room. His name is Jay Mix, runs a YouTube channel. As you know, this is a YouTube channel. I'm really excited. This guy has so many followers and subscribers. He's going to teach us, and he's also going to uh, give us his insight on his channel, what drives him, and what why we should be subscribing to to it. All right, so thank you, Jay Mix. Really no a problem. pleasure. No, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So um, most of the people that watch this channel, Mr. Century City, they're going to be involved in entertainment. They're going to be involved in every different aspect, music, video production. Um, there's going to be some behind the scenes people that watch it that are lawyers, um, that are copywriters, you name it. Oh. So we'll go through kind of just what First, I just want to know, because I'm new to YouTube, what inspired you to start your channel? Well, um, I was a fan of Tupac. I do a Tupac Death Row related channel, and I had a lot of questions about my favorite artist. Mm. Um, you know, because we all have that one artist that when we're down in a moment or we're feeling really good, we play a song by that artist and it makes us have a better day or it gets us through a day. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of questions uh, concerning Tupac and I would go on the internet chat boards, I would ask questions, and a lot of it was just people speculating. So I thought to myself, well, what if I reached out to the people that knew him mm -hmm. and asked the question myself? That way we could get a solid answer. And I started it more doing it for the community mm -hmm. that, uh, same fans of the same artist and it started as a hobby and it, and it just kind of morphed into its own thing mm -hmm. one video led to two two led to ten and here i am 300 videos wow. later um and i'm still doing it 300 videos it's it's getting close i gotta get to work this guy's killing me on video production <laughs> <laughs> i have no excuse how long have you uh, been running the channel um i i started the youtube channel in, in 2009 only uh, signing in just so I could watch YouTube channels like okay. yours, okay. you know, and but I really started putting the content out, out around 2012-2013. Oh, wow. So it's it's been about four or five years now. Wow. Um, in a previous interview, I talked to RJ Bond, so I see that there's this whole industry surrounding what has taken place with Tupac, obviously, and Biggie, yeah. and just kind of the whole. Um, do you find that you get a lot of new content just steady streaming in? I'm just curious. Yes. Yeah. Even 20 years after his death, uh, Tupac still makes the news. 20 years. Yep. I, Talk about staying 20 years. Uh, recently, as of uh, about a year and a half ago, you know, uh, one of the cops that was there on the scene when Tupac got shot uh, fatally, mm -hmm. you know, he had kept the story back for so long and he finally decided it was time to tell it and it makes the news. Mm -hmm. news Tupac had a large work catalog of songs that he did up to 300, I think, that mm -hmm. nobody had ever heard. Every time a new one comes out and hits the internet, makes big news. Wow. So he manages, even 20 years after his death, to stay in the news and stay relevant more than some active artists do now. That's crazy. Never thought about it that way. Are you also involved in like music production, or are you just, uh, or do you, are you just the ultimate fan? Because you're definitely doing it justice. I mean, just saying. Well, thank you for that. Um, no, I'm just doing what you do. You know, I, oh, awesome. I, I absolutely am a fan, and I do it out of love. Mm -hmm. And at this point, once you get your YouTube channel rolling, it, it stops being about you and what you like, mm -hmm. because then you have subscribers and you have a fan mm -hmm. base. So you can't just stop. Mm -hmm. It comes to a certain thing to, to where it's it's a community and you feel love and you just want to give it back by creating more content. Wow, I, I noticed that. So it's almost like an addiction. Like you get a good okay. interview, you get a good interview in there, you get a good something in there, you get some comments where somebody's appreciative of what you've done. They leave a comment on your video and you're like, oh man, I got to do more good stuff. Come on, that was a good one. How do I do that again? <laughs> Yeah, and I think uh, a lot of it, when, when it comes to me anyway, is I'm very self-critical. So if I see something that someone doesn't like, I always want to improve myself. Mm. And it's all about self-improvement. How can I make the next interview more pleasing and reach a wider variety of audiences? Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot of trial and error. And it's it's also, like I said, it's, it's self-competition. Mm -hmm. How can I do better? Wonderful. So for the YouTubers out there, what would be your, your um, so let's just say, some of the themes I've heard you say, correct me if I'm wrong, is that first you have to have some motivation, like something that's going to drive you to get the content. Your mo particular motivation was you were curious. You said what's going on with the situation yeah. and, one, and you couldn't get the relevant information, so that led to your drive to create it yourself. 
to try and draw it out of the community, if you will. Absolutely. Um, so let's assume that a YouTuber out there maybe has a feel or a passion and they want to get it out there. Um, what would be your, your recommendation on how they get it out there? Well, I, I guess I would say that go to what you know. Mm. It, it's always easier to to go with something that you are comfortable with and you like. Mm -hmm. Never do anything to please someone else. Mm -hmm. I don't put out my content, for the most part, to please every single person. Mm -hmm. I do it to please myself. Mm -hmm. So I would say go with what you like and what you know, and from there, it's gonna be a trial and error period. Mm -hmm. you're, gonna, you're gonna make mistakes, everybody does, and that's how you learn to do better and how you evolve as a YouTuber mm -hmm. and in pretty much anything else that I've experienced in life. Absolutely. No, great theme. And I'll, and I'll tell you, so I do another show called The Gratitude Show, and I just did a show about operate from an abundance mindset and not scarcity. Yep. So I feel like a lot of people that are maybe thinking about doing a YouTube channel or kind of hesitant and thinking, well, what if somebody doesn't like it? The way I look at it is there are billions of people out there. I mean, if if somebody doesn't resonate with your message it's just virtually impossible i don't care what you put out there if you do it long enough and you keep trying to get better of course and you keep yes. keep increasing the quality in whatever you can do it doesn't mean you need a certain camera or it doesn't mean i mean there's so many people out there that have huge followings with on their cell phone i mean it just happens that's just the nature of it but it's just saying that uh like I, who did i see the other guy the juice guy have you ever seen the juice cleanse guy i have not oh! Oh, not this guy started okay I have to plug it really quick and then uh, then I won't take up any more of your time but he he basically started in the back of his truck and doing these juice cleanses and he now um, I mean years later he's he does the exact same format except now you see him and he's in the back and he's in these million dollar homes why because he got so many followers and is so famous for it that now all of these um, cancer patients that are wealthy are basically bringing him to them so that they can, so he can do juice cleanses for them and basically try and help them in their condition. So now when you see his channel, I wish I knew it because I would plug him so hard because he is an inspiration to me. Now when you see his channel, you're like, you see him in these multi-million dollar homes. You see the early ones though? I'm not joking. Imagine Santa Monica, a guy's truck, he lives in his truck, the tailgate's down, he's got a cooler there, he's talking about juice cleanses. Wow. Yes. And now he's really like made a life for himself, has hundreds of thousands of followers, and he's doing what he loves. He was doing that. He had that vision when he was in his truck. He was obviously, I mean, I can't even imagine that. Um, and he made a th something for him, and he also gave to the community that he was looking to serve. He's become uh, essentially a benefit to humanity, in my opinion. He's helping people. Um, and it was, if he would have been thinking to himself, like you said, like, um, you know, that perfectionist mindset or he has to kind of be behind what he's going to be doing and he has to overthink something and not just be true to his message, then um, those people wouldn't have been helped. He would have never started. Absolutely. He may have just gotten, who knows what would have gotten lost with his dream. I think, I think a good thing to say in that aspect is if you believe in it and it's something that you like, chances are there are going to be other people out there that feel the same way. And whether or not it happens overnight, because mm -hmm. a lot of success stories don't, Yep. You know, never give up, keep trying, and go full steam ahead. Awesome. I think we will end on that. Way better said than I said. I'm a little long-winded. You got <laughs> you got the YouTube delivery down. You're like three to five minutes, and they're going to click off. Please tell everybody where they can follow you. Tell them your uh, your channel. This is plug time. Please look into the camera. All right. Um, <laughs> if you would like to follow me on Twitter, it's Jesse, J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E underscore Surratt, S-U-R-R-A-T-T. You can search YouTube for J-Mix exclusives or just J-Mix Tupac. That's J-M-I-X and Tupac as in Tupac Shakur. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, thank uh, you, bud. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Mr. Century City. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and you can find me at MrCenturyCity.com. Have an awesome day. Subscribe. Hey all, it's JMix here, and I want to thank everybody that took the time to watch the video. If you liked it, go ahead and throw it a like, maybe even a comment down below. And if you really like my content, check out my Patreon. The link is down below. For a dollar a month, you get all the live streams, unedited as soon as they happen. Plus, interviews in advance and other bonus content. The link is in the description. If not, you guys could always watch one of the videos to the side of me. See you on the next upload.
one love everybody